Let's go ahead and bless his holy name. Let's give him glory. Let's give him honor. Worship the one who is great. Before whom all demons tremble. Before whom all mountains fall. Let's bless the Lord of hosts. The one who has given us victory. Let's give him glory. Let's give him honor. Let's give him adoration. It's worthy. It's worthy. It's worthy to be glorified. Give him glory. Give him honor. Magnify his holy name. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Almighty God. In Jesus' mighty name, we worship. Now, I want you to lift your voice to him and say, Father, I know you always reserve the best in the last. Give me the best tonight. Go ahead, talk to the Almighty God. Give me your best tonight, Almighty. Give me your very best tonight, King of Glory. Please, Father, give me your very best tonight. Thank you, Savior. Thank you, Lord. Give me your very best tonight. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. We give you all the glory. We give you honor. We give you all the glory. We give you honor, Jesus. We give you all the glory. We give you honor. We give you all the glory. We give you honor. Amen. We give you all the glory. We give you honor. We give you all the glory. We give you honor, Father. We give you. All the glory we give you honor. We give you all the glory. We give you honor. Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the ending. Thank you for starting with us. Thank you now that you're about to end with us. Thank you for Monday. Thank you for Tuesday. Thank you for Wednesday. Thank you for Thursday. Thank you for yesterday. And Lord, thank you for today. Please accept our worship in Jesus' name. Tonight, Give us your very best. Bless us like never before. At the end of it all, take all the glory. And if there's anyone we see trusting you for one thing or the other, this very moment, 
release it unto them. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. And let somebody shout hallelujah. Uh, shake hands with one or two people and tell them you will get the best from God tonight. And then you may please be seated. Today, God gave us 11 additional children. Five boys and six girls. <laughs> so the total number of children born during this Congress is now 51. 25 boys, 26 girls. <laughs> All right. Let the sister shout praise the Lord. And let the brother shout hallelujah. Don't worry, brothers. A lot can still happen before tomorrow morning. <laughs> I want to inform us that... Um, Monday, January 1, is New Year Day, and so there will be no Divine Encounter and Shiloh Hour services on that Monday. But the two services will come up the following Monday, Monday the 8th of January, by the special grace of God. So... If we show up for Divine Encounter on Monday the 1st, you will have an encounter with God um, privately. <laughs> but on the 8th, by the grace of God, we will have the two services. Oh, glory be to God. The professor was leading the MC said he, he wishes that the Congress will continue for another week. I said to my wife, I have no objection provided he will be the one preaching. <laughs> I just sit down and enjoy myself for one week. That would be good. First Samuel chapter 17. Verses 34 through 37. We want to talk about anointing for victory. 1 Samuel 17, 34 to 37. And David said unto Saul, Thy servant kept his father's sheep, and there came a lion and a bear, and took a lamb out of the flock. And I went out after him and smote him and delivered it out of his mouth. And when he arose against me, I caught him by his beard and smote him and slew him. Thy servant slew both the lion and the bear. And this uncircumcised Philistine shall be as one of them, seeing he has defied the armies of the Lord God. David said, moreover, the Lord that delivered me out of the paw of the lion and out of the paw of the bear, he will deliver me out of the hand of this Philistine. And Saul said unto David, Go, and the Lord be with thee. Every lion in your life will die tonight. Amen. 
every bear in your life will perish tonight. And every Goliath will lose his head. In this passage, David gave us three categories of external enemies. Lion, bear, and Goliath. A lion represents someone who is superior to you in position, in influence, in authority. Who wants to use that superiority to choke life out of you? If you ever watch uh, animal, the animal channel, animal kingdom channel, and you see the way a lion kills, it jumps on the antelope, for example, and goes straight for the throat and will clamp his teeth on the throat until the animal is choked to death. And then he begins to eat. That is the way the lion kills. If you read Exodus chapter 1, verse 8 to 22, Exodus 1, 8 to 22, you see an illustration in Pharaoh who wanted to choke life out of the children of Israel and gave an order to the midwives. Whenever a boy is born, kill him before the mother can even see the baby. When the midwives obeyed not the king, he gave another order because he's the one in authority. He said, well, if you can't kill the child at birth, if he's a boy, throw him into the Nile. If you wipe out all the boys in a particular nation, very soon the nation will become extinct. So there are people in authority, superior power, superior influence, who will want to choke you to death. But thank God there is an anointing that will take care of lions. And you get it tonight in Jesus' name. Then he mentioned another animal called the bear. The bear is a very huge animal. And he loves to kill by hugging the victim to death. A hug is supposed to be a sign of love, a sign of affection. You've had the term, be a hug. When you want to show somebody, I really love you, you give the fellow a, a bear hug, you will hug. But in the case of the bear, he doesn't hug out of love. He hugs so he can crush the fellow to death. And so the bear represents those 
pretend to love you, but want to kill you. They smile at you. They get close to you so that they can destroy. The Bible refers to them in Matthew 7, verse 15. Matthew 7, verse 15, as wolves in sheep clothing. You see another illustration like this in Judges 16, verse 4 to 21. Judges 16, verse 21. In the story of Delilah, Samson. He might do it. He was in the book was great. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah.